In today's video, we'll be discussing the book Medical Herbalism by David Hoffman. Now, I do have another book by the same author, which is the Herbal Handbook. And he does have other books as well. It says here, the author of the Complete Illustrated Holistic Herbal. So I have this one here, and I think that this is a little bit more beginner friendly, even though both of these books are really intermediate, and this is intermediate to advanced. So in this little mini review, I'll be reading through the table of contents so you can get a gist of some of the topics. I'll also read a little excerpt of it as well. First, I'll start by reading the synopsis or the description that it has inside of the book. Just a little bit of it and some of the main points so you can determine whether this would be a good book for you. So, Medical Herbalism is a foundational textbook on the scientific principles of therapeutic herbalism and their application in medicine. Based on the author's more than 25 years of herbal practice, it contains comprehensive information concerning the identification and use of medicinal plants, both by chemical structure and physiological effect, the art and science of making herbal medicine, and the challenge to current research paradigms posed by complex plant medicines. So just from that, it is very much like a textbook. This is more expensive, but it's worth every penny, I'll say. But it retails for 60 US and 69 Canadian. Now I paid about $50 for it. In the bottom portion, it says, it is also a complete handbook for the medical practitioner looking to bring herbal treatments into his or her practice. So I definitely do see that this would be for those who are going through a clinical herbalism program, that this would be required reading. I do see that. Uh, in here, he has a Materia Medica, which has 150 of what he says is the most beneficial herbs used in treatment practices, identifying not only their present uses, but also their historical der uh, derivations. He has in the most up-to-date information on preparations, dosages, contraindications, information on toxicology, issues involved in determining dosage and formulation types for the for an individual the pros and cons of both commercial and traditional techniques he also goes into the special needs of children and the elderly i think that's all that i really want to focus on he does have a section that is related to western herbalism and the history of it so yes it says with additional sections devoted to the principles of green medicine, the history of Western herbalism, the variety of other, the variety of other medical modalities using medicinal plants, and an extensive resource di directory. Okay, so in other books I've shared, um, Southern folk medicine, now African medicine, and African American herbalism, and so this is. Western herbalism. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead into the chapters. So I'm going to go through the table of contents and I'm just going to read off little, um, most sections. So he has herbs, holism, and science, classification of medicinal plants, an introduction to phytochemistry. He has a section on carbohydrates, lipids, uh, polyphenols, alkaloids, uh, pharmacology. Toxicity, contraindications, and safety, the formulation and preparation of herbal medicines. So in this, he does break down a lot of different preparations from oils, compresses, poultices, gargles, and mouthwashes, tinctures, um, fluid extracts, juices, infusions, lozenges, um, capsules, douches, enemas, ointments, suppositories, inhalants. So he does go in depth into a lot of different herbal preparations. He also then goes to treatment approaches by body system. So he has digestive system, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, nervous system, urinary system, reproductive, uh, reproductive system. Let me see, I think I skipped a page there. Yes, I did. Musculoskeletal system, skin, immune system, endocrine system, Phytotherapy in the elderly, the section for phytotherapy in children, and then a section on herbal actions. He also has at the back of the book a glossary. 
He has an herbs by, la by Latin and common names. He has a reference. Um, he also has some pharmacy terms and weight and measure conversion and some other um, things as well. So his material medical starts at 522. So this book has over 600 pages of the what I like to call the, the meat and potatoes. And even though this is not a recipe, recipe book or a book really centered around recipes, he does have some recipes in the individual systems chapter here's some more of how the book looks and i'll just read a little bit of sections here he says the beauty of a spring meadow in bloom the profound sense of presence in a grove of redwood trees the heart takes flight and the spirit is healed However, this is not the only way in which the magnificent flora with which we share a planet brings healing to our hearts. A wide variety of herbs offer tangible, physical nourishment and healing for hearts troubled by the ills of modern society. Consider the word cordial. Applied to both the, the warming herbal drink and the human expression of heartfelt friendliness. The cordial was a medieval drink based on borage, an herb with a reputation for warming and gladdening the heart. The word derives from the Latin cordialis, meaning of or for the heart, which in turn is based on the Latin core, meaning heart. The original sense of the word was medicine, food, or drink that stimulates the heart. Herbs still maintain a central position in orthodox treatment protocols for various heart problems. Plants containing cardiac glycosides are used throughout the world to treat heart failure and certain cases of cardiac arrhythmia. In conditions like these, herbs can increase the strength and normalize the rate of heartbeat. The real value of these herbs lie in their ability to increase the efficiency of the heart without increasing the heart muscles need for oxygen. So you get a little bit of how he um, writes there. Uh, also, just for those who want to know a little bit of the herbs for the heart, I'll just read one paragraph where he starts um, herbs and the cardiovascular health. It says... The medical herbalist recognizes a broad range of relevant herbs for the cardiovascular system. As a group, they are known as cardiac remedies, a general term for herbs that have an action on the heart. Some of the remedies in this group are powerful cardiac agents, such as digitalis, which is foxglove, and the somewhat milder um, lily of the valley, while others are gentler and safer cardiac tonics, such as hawthorn and tilia or linden flower. Okay. So then he has primary actions for the cardiovascular system as well as he breaks down further. He has tonics for the cardiovascular system and he talks about it a little bit more. He has, he tells you how to make a Hawthorne Berry Conserve. So just little bits of recipes sprinkled in here. Then he also talks about lifestyle and risk factors. This looks like maybe it's a study on Hawthorne. And then he talks about some other things that affect the diet. And I like that this is more of a holistic approach because it's not just telling you to use these herbs, but it's also letting you know about lifestyle factors that can contribute to problems. And so whenever you decide to introduce herbs for a purpose of um, a bodily purpose or helping to assist the body, you also want to make sure that what you're eating is also not creating additional problems or are going to or going to counteract what the herbs are doing okay so that's really useful and I love the way this book is 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 um, broken down because it follows kind of the way that I've done some of my own um, studies in my courses and whatnot because um, African herbalism really is based on my around actual systems and organs organ systems and not just certain body parts or symptoms so I do enjoy that it is with that sort of approach and how it really has anatomy in there as well as herbs, as well as study, as well as um, con um, constituents or the medical side of herbalism. So I really would recommend this book. I think that this is really wonderful for anyone who is self-taught, but they are advanced and they're looking for more books to widen their knowledge. So 
I'll have a link to this book below as well as the other one that I have because I think that they are really good companions. I hope that you all enjoy this video and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.